cornbread on the bottom, mac and cheese, and brisket. Corey said that he would buy me a new pair because he ruined them. So we've gotten it before, and it kind of sucks. Corey thinks me. that the viewers and all of you want his entertainment. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianna, and today we are going to the Big E, which stands for the Big Eastern States. Corey and I go to this fair every single year. It's in West Springfield, Mass., so I am so excited to take on a full fair day. Lots of fall, lots of eating, so we are gonna take you all along. And if you have not already, please make sure that you subscribe down below and turn on that post notification bell so that you know when I'm posting next. Please pardon the mess back there as I was trying to pick an outfit, but I did, so we're gonna do a little outfit of the day. So to start, my earrings are from Forever 21, my necklace is from J. Crew. all of my rings are also from J. Crew. bracelets are from Madewell, my top is from Nordstrom, it's a brand called BG, I'll have it linked below. My jeans are from my last haul, which are from H&M, these little mom jeans, and then my shoes are the Adidas Stan Smiths. So. We are headed out to the Big E. So at the Big E, which again stands for the Big Eastern States, it's, they have all these different houses from the Eastern States, and I looked up online the most popular things to get from each state. So from the main building is the main baked potato, and in parentheses it says if you want to brave this line, which every year I brave that line, and every year it's worth it. Next from the New Hampshire building is the New Hampshire kettle corn, which we bring home a huge bag every single year, so I can't wait to eat that. Massachusetts is the Big E Cream Puff Stout, which is like a cream puff beer. Vermont building is the Big E Cookie. That doesn't really entice me, but every time we go to the Vermont tent, we always get the Ben and Jerry's in the back. And Connecticut has barbecue from Bear's Smoke Shop. Yes, we, Corey and I eat that like every other week because it's so good. And then Rhode Island has clam chowder from Blout Clam Shack. Those are some of the main foods that you can get when you go to the Big E from the state buildings that are the most popular. So we'll make sure to try those out. I will check in with you guys once we actually park the car and get into the Big E. So we have officially made it into the Big E. Let's go. Thank Thank goodness it was a very long process, but we are gonna start doing all of the states. Now there's what, six state buildings? Yes, six New England six. state buildings. So we're gonna start and do six state buildings and we are gonna start in New Hampshire. New Hampshire. So this is the gourmet mac and cheese. We've gotten it before and it kind of sucks. Personally, I think it's bad. Did you think it, it was like good? It Say it like it is. I mean, it's average, I would say. But it's all right, it's not the best. The New Hampshire corn on the cob is one of our absolute favorites, so I cannot wait to eat it. Got corn on the cob, already ate about half of it. I already finished mine. <laughs> and we also got a 100% pure sweet apple cider yeah. from New Hampshire. And I'm a little annoyed because I got butter all over my brand new jeans, so they're ruined. Corey said that he would buy me a new pair because he ruined them, so. I did not do such things, people. Don't let anyone blame you for things you didn't do. So we are trying New Hampshire apple cider. Mm. Ten out of ten. When you come to the Big E, Apple Hill Farm, apple cider needs to be on your list. And we've made it to Connecticut. So now we are in the Connecticut building, which this is where I'm from, and there's not really anything too crazy here, but what we are getting is apple cider donuts and probably bears. Yes, Maybe a little bears. Yes, a little barbecue. Do a uh, bear attack, please, with brisket. Perfect. And then a uh, diet coke. We went to Bears Barbecue, which is a barbecue place that we have in our hometown, and we got a bear attack. So it's cornbread on the bottom, mac and cheese, and brisket. And then we also got a diet, Soda because that's my life. Bear attack. They have the best brisket ever. Taste it, boy. As good as always. Can never beat it. Never can beat so Bear's good. Barbecue. So We're gonna enjoy our barbecue and then we are gonna get some apple cider donuts and then we are gonna head into our next state building, which I think is, do you know what the next state building is? Can't really see, so we will just. We're gonna be just as surprised as you are. Up next is what is it called? Madeline's cider donuts. And nothing is better than these, especially when they're warm. 
I look forward to this donut every single year. Nothing is better than a sweet Magdalene's cider donut, especially when they're warm. You're so annoying. I look forward to this every year. So we have Salt Place. We are in Vermont. Can you, how about you do that and just say we're in Vermont? We're in Vermont. No, we did that. I blatantly went. Okay. I blatantly went. Okay, okay. We, we have officially, officially made it to Vermont. It's Vermont. <laughs> We don't want you to solve any case. Can we just say who came? Come on, the viewers need to have entertainment. Corey they love thinks me. That the viewers and all of you want his entertainment, which I know you don't. So we are just gonna say we have figured out which building is next, and it's Vermont. Vermont. We went to Ben and Jerry's in the back of Vermont, and we got the maple. The maple milkshake. I need to try it now that you're saying it. Ooh, that's very nice. We got the maple milkshake. It is only available for 17 days at the Big E, so. Is that nice? I think it was their, if I were to guess, their secret is vanilla ice cream, the Vermont maple syrup at the bottom, as you can see it. And then they put a little bit of whole milk, blended it up in the blender, and that was that. So we are gonna finish up in Vermont, and then we're gonna head into the next building. You cannot come over that shit. This may be another purchase today. You want another one? We were walking out of the Vermont tent and we found this Eden cider and they basically have all these different ciders and we just tried something that's called an ice cider and what they do is they take all the juice out of an apple, freeze it all winter long and then the concentrated sugar at the bottom they basically turn that sugar into sugar alcohol which is 10% so it's similar to like a Di Sirono or a whiskey where you just drink it over ice and so we got one so we're going to pick it up at the end when we leave so if you are looking for good cider I think they can so they can ship to your door is Eden. These are the beautiful ice bottles. Eden, I will put their Instagram and their website below, but definitely check them out and have them shipped to your door. But now we are on to our second to last building. We are finally going to Maine, and Maine means a Maine baked potato. Like we said, the Maine baked potatoes are very popular, and there is always a line, and if you want to see the line, I'm going to show you, because this is something ridiculous for a baked potato, but I would say it's worth it. Do you think it's worth it? Oh my god, absolutely worth it. 100% yeah. worth it every single year. So the line wraps all the way around, in there it snakes three times around, and then once inside. Perfect, thank you so much. We just finished in line waiting for main baked potatoes. We probably waited for about an hour, like an hour. They are 100% worth the wait. So this is Corey's, everything with butter, sour cream, cheese, chives, and bacon. Mine is the same thing, minus the cheese, not a cheese gal. So we're just gonna, oh my God, I cannot wait to eat this. Cheers to Maine. If there's anything that you eat at the Big E, get the main baked potato. It is worth the wait. The line looks ridiculous, like I showed before, but it is 100% worth it. Mm. Good? Yeah. Delish. And what do you get it better here? is the Trillium Free Ride. It's a Citra IPA. It's very nice. Makes the potato even better. We finished our main baked potatoes, which were delicious. And now we have two final state houses left. First is Massachusetts. Second is Rhode Island. So we're gonna start in Massachusetts right now. Let's see what we can find for goodies. We went through Mass, not a lot. We, there's really nothing about Mass. And I mean, they had clam chowder, but it's It was more hot. sports memorabilia stuff, which is obviously correct. Yeah. But in terms of food, nothing really. No, so I think we didn't get anything in mass. So we are now headed into Rhode Island. We are definitely getting Dells. Corey's from Rhode Island, so he is not letting a missed opportunity for Dells to go by. Absolutely not. So we are going to head into Rhode Island and get some and Dells. never drink Dells with a straw. No, no, you never with a straw. Just bend the cup. One thing in Rhode Island that Corey and I do with his family every year is we go to something called the Jack-O-Lantern Spectrum. Spectacular. And what it is is where all of these like what hundreds of thousands of pumpkins. I could not tell you the amount of pumpkins that are in here, but it's absolutely incredible. There's like 50,000 maybe more and they're all hand carved. These are what they look like. 
Fun fact, 5,000 carved pumpkins. Mr. Woodbine over here got a lemon, Dell's. His favorite, yep. It's like a little extension of summer. Literally, yeah. I got a cherry Dell's. These are one of the best things to get in Rhode Island, so if you're ever in Rhode Island, in at Big e or in general, in the summer specifically, because they'll close, get a Dell's. Shucks, you missed it? Honestly, it was good for me. I really wanted that cute little walrus. It was good you for me. Wanna try again? Let me do it again. My you almost had it. Almost it was it bounced out. So I saw the first one, it almost bounced out. Alright, let's short try another game and see if Corey can win me something. Alright, Corey, you got this. Ready? Did you win? Let's go. You won, yes! You want the brown horse? The brown horses. Yeah! He's coming home with us. Corey won us a horsey to take home. We don't have a name for him yet. He's now just horsey. He's now just horsey. Maybe he'll be more than Mr. Mr. Horse. Mr. Horse. We are so original. We have just finished at the Biggie for the day. We have Henry, it's his name that Corey won me today during our game. And we picked up some kettle corn from New Hampshire. So that is gonna be the end of our day at the Big E. We also got a really cute little Christmas ornament for our travel tree. And we got that Eden ice in this really beautiful tall glass bottle. So the end of the Big E day, it was so fun bringing all of you along. So make sure if you have not already, that you click that subscribe button down below and turn on that post notification bell so that you know every time I post content. That concludes our day at the Big E. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.